Now, in the news tonight, Upper Darby Police say they have the driver and vehicle wanted in a deadly road rage shooting. A 56 year old father of four was shot and killed at the intersection of Lansdowne and Winding Way in Drexel Hill this morning. Eyewitness News anchor Siafa Lewis is following the new details tonight. Sources tell Eyewitness News that a suspect in Friday morning's road rage incident is now in custody. We were here on the scene when the car in question and that suspect were brought in. Shortly after 8 p.m. Friday evening, the white Audi A4 seen in a surveillance video at the scene of the incident this morning was driven via a flatbed truck to the Upper Darby Township Police Department. You can see a bullet hole in the rear passenger window. And then moments later, this man was brought into police headquarters. Police tell Eyewitness News this man is a suspect in this morning's road rage incident. Shortly before 8 a.m. Friday morning, Upper Darby Township Police say a road rage incident at Lansdowne Avenue and Winding Way resulted in a shooting, which left a 56 year old Havertown Township resident dead. He was a married father of four. What we have here today is a senseless act of violence. Where is everyone going? What's the rush? What's the speed with this road rage? You're going to the next stop sign, the next red light. That rage has left a wife without a husband and four children without their father. The words don't describe. I spoke with the, the, the wife this morning, obviously distraught. Uh, we don't have any answers for her right now, so I'm pleading with the public to help us solve this. When he spoke earlier in the day, Police Superintendent Timothy Bernhardt asked the public for any help they could lend in solving the case. And after tracking surveillance video of the area, the white Audi A4 caught their eye. We are interested in speaking to the operator of the white Audi A4 that was seen next to the victim's van at the time we believe the shooting occurred. Clearly, Upper Darby Township Police got the information they needed, and on Friday night, that suspect turned himself in. In Upper Darby, Siafa Lewis, CBS3 Eyewitness News.